Good morning everyone and welcome to today's video. So today is Vlogmas Day 5 and today's video is a really important video to me. Um, it is part of the Give a Day Cast Member Pantry Monorail. And this um, collaboration has 24 participants and I will make sure that they are all linked in the description down below so that you can check out uh, everyone's videos, the, the um, channels that have participated up until me and the channels who are participating afterwards. I will make sure that their day, they are, um, what day they're um, posting um, and their channel links are together. I know what I'm saying. You'll figure it out. It's in the description. So this monorail is to benefit the cast member pantry. And I will read you a little bit about um, a furlough. And, and this is from www wdwinfo.com and the link for this article will be in the description below. Um, it is about how a furloughed cast member has created a food bank that is specifically for furloughed cast members. And <clears throat> it's, it's just been an amazing thing. So many um, celebrities, including Josh Gad, have gotten behind supporting the cast member pantry. Um, I have purchased this, um, it says hashtag cast member strong and the proceeds from it went to the cast member pantry. Um, and so it's, it's just grown and it's just so amazing. And Pauline Murphy and she has with the channel, um, mouse and mermaid. I need, sorry, I was making sure I had the right one here. Um, created this giving loop this monorail loop for us to all um answer the questions about what our our best day at disney would be and then make a donation to the cast member pantry i have already made my donation and i will leave a link as well in the description for you if you wish to help out our furloughed cast members um if if you can even if you can only donate a little bit if you can don't they have a Amazon wish list? And I'll make sure that that's linked in the description below as well. Anything helps because I know that we are all missing the magic, and so many of the what makes the magic is them. So, without further ado, let's get started on my perfect day at Disney. Obviously, my perfect day at Disney would be during the Christmas holiday. I have my peppermint ears on with my matching peppermint Mickey earrings. And these are both from the um, Etsy shop of Mickey's Magic. They were made by Meg. And I will make sure to link both her channel and um, her Etsy link in the description below. So the park I would go to. And if you feel like answering these questions in the description, I will leave these questions in the description. If you want to leave your answers to the questions in the comments, I will put the questions in the description. I can talk. It can happen. Okay. So question number one, what park would you go to? Well, during the holidays, I know a lot of people prefer to go to Magic Kingdom, but my perfect day during the holidays is going to be Epcot. And because the storytellers are amazing and it's a great way to learn about all of the, the culture and the way the different countries celebrate the holidays, whether it's the, the Kris Kringle, whether it's um, Hanukkah, whether it's whatever, that is one of the best parts of Festival of the Holidays, which is at Epcot. Question number two is what snack must you have to kick off the day? That is a really, really hard question because there would be two. The first one would be the Lefse at the Norway Pavilion. And it is a potato bread and it's got butter and cinnamon and sugar in it. And they will serve it to you cold, but you can ask them to heat it up. And my sister-in-law actually is Norwegian ancestry. And growing up, they always brought, she always brought Lefsa to the holidays. And it was, the difference is hers is like this paper thin 
uh, bread and the left side in Norway is very very thick so it wasn't what I was expecting it to be but it was just as good and it was it it was just it was memories from holidays past for me the second snack that would tie with that is the egg rolls from China I don't know what it is about the egg rolls from China but man they are addictive and I could eat them all day when not even have a problem I have a stomach ache so I guess that would be the problem but yeah so question number three what is the one attraction that you have to go on and that for me is going to be Soren. I I love Soren and I'm terrified of Soren in the same breath I just I dislike the going up and coming back down portion freaks me out like nothing else but if I, I know when it, um, I know when it starts to go up and I close my eyes and I know during the Epcot fireworks portion, when it starts going really fast, that it's about to come down. So I hold, close my eyes and hold on. And yes, I am that adult that uses the child safety strap because I have a fear that I'm going to fall out of this thing. Question number four, will you do a quick service or a table service and where is it? So I would actually probably do both. For lunch, I would probably do a quick service at the Lotus Blossom Cafe, which is in China, and I would get more egg rolls. <laughs> um, and for a table service, I would probably do Vianopoli, and I know I butchered that, but the pizza in the Italy Pavilion, fantastic, massive food, and it is just some of the best pizza. Question number five. What character must you do a meet and greet with? Well, during the holidays, Belle is out in her Christmas dress, and I actually have had the opportunity to meet her in that Christmas dress, and I will insert a picture of my husband Sam and I meeting her on our 2017 trip right So that would be the meet and greet that I have to have because it's a character in a rare outfit and I love being able to collect those photos. Question number six. What is one piece of merchandise you collect that you will have to add to? I love tote bags because I am a paraprofessional um, in multiple classes in middle school. I go from class to class to class to class. And so I use my tote bags to carry my books. I thought I was out of school. I didn't think I was going to have to revisit lugging books around. But I use my Disney tote bags to haul my stuff around. And so I would be getting a new tote bag because, of course, you can't have ever too many tote bags, just like you can't have too many purses. Question number seven. What is the one spot you have to ha have to take a photo? And that's in front of the dome, Spaceship Earth. Some people call it the big golf ball. I love calling it the big golf ball because it drives a lot of people nuts. How's that not a golf ball? Yeah, I know, but it's fun to say. Um, over here in the corner, you can see my kitty peaches. <laughs> so that would be the spot that I would have to take a photo in. Question number eight. <clears throat> what is the final souvenir that you'll get to remember your perfect day? Well, I always get Memory Maker when we go on our Vake Disney vacations. And so for me, it would probably be a special frame, whether it's a holiday frame that has the year on it. Maybe it's a wooden frame, just some sort of really special frame to put my favorite picture from the day in because a picture is worth a thousand words and pictures are what connects us to our past and so you can go back and look at a photo album you can look at a picture hanging on the wall and say I remember that day and here's what I remember about it and it it brings back memories sometimes the memories might be sad because maybe the person that you are with has passed on maybe maybe something traumatic happened around the time that the photo was taken or some maybe something good happened and you're like oh my gosh i remember that da 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 a picture is worth a thousand words and 10,000 memories so it would definitely be a picture frame and there is a bonus question Tell us about a magical moment with a cast member. Well, this magical moment actually happened in the Magic Kingdom on New Year's Eve. Um, 
on my husband Sam and I's trip in 2019-2020, so earlier this past year, end of last year, um, we were sitting waiting on the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Parade that was going on on New Year's Eve, and we were telling the citizens of Main Street that it was our anniversary, and we we never had a engagement party. We never had um, a... Uh, a a shower because we were married very quickly before my husband left for boot camp. And this didn't set well with the cast member. And so they brought over an ornament and it's packed away right now because it's very special and we don't want it to get broken. But it said, they said that, sorry, this got lost in the mail. We hope we are so happy to give you your wedding present now. And it's a Mickey and Minnie and they it's holding a heart and it says 2020 on it. And it is the most special ornament and it it is safely put away so it cannot get broken. So that is the monorail cast member pantry video tag. <laughs> Um, again, I hope that if you can, you will choose to um, donate to the Casper Pantry. And if you can't donate, please help bring awareness. Share the links on your Instagram. Share them um, on your own YouTube. Share them on your Facebook. Share them with your friends and family. I know some families um, like to make donations to um, organizations in, in their family member's name instead of exchanging um, Christmas gifts. And I think that's a fantastic idea. And this is definitely one that could definitely be on your list of charities to give to. So thank you so much for watching today's video during Vlogmas. And we hope to see you tomorrow for the next video.